A southern songbird is in danger of becoming a threatened species, and researchers with the Nashville Zoo are doing what they can to find out why. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland is live in the newsroom with what they found out so far. John Quill. That's right, Vicki. The loggerhead shrike is a songbird with a bird of prey attitude. Now, they help farmers with their rodent population. However, their numbers are on the decline, and researchers have a few reasons why. It's mid-afternoon in the countryside of northern Robertson County. Nashville Zoo bird curator Joe DeGraw is on the hunt, and so is the bird he's searching for. As much as there's an interest in shrikes, there's not a whole lot known about them. So this is, this is why, in our minds, this is an important project. For the past two years, DeGraw and a team of researchers have studied and tracked loggerhead shrikes, a small songbird with a raptor appetite. A shrike will catch and kill and consume anything just smaller than it. There's a telltale sign if you have shrikes on your land. The loggerhead shrike resembles the state's bird, the mockingbird. It's a tiny gray songbird with the nickname of the butcher bird, and for good reason, with the barbed wire here acting as meat hooks. This particular fence row has, I've seen everything from snakes, birds, small mammals, of course, lots of insects. Their carnivorous diet helps local farmers with rodent and insect problems. But over the years, their numbers have drastically dropped. Loggerhead shrike populations have dropped almost 60 percent. DeGraw says habitat loss due to urban sprawl and loss of prey to pesticides may be to blame. It's now his job to track the ones they find. We're also putting telemetry equipment on them so we can track them uh, throughout throughout the summer months. And finding them can be hard enough, but luck was on our side. He's, he's hunting right now, yeah. yeah. That just went back on the fence row. He just put it on the hook. Are you he kidding did. me? Did you get it on the fence? Yes, man, that's fantastic. <laughs> if, if I was a betting man, I, would, I, I was a little hesitant that we were going to see shrikes today with, with you guys coming out. But kaboom, we've got two, two in our bag right now. <laughs> Now, DeGrasse says rural homeowners can help aid the shrike's habitat by allowing growth around fence lines, especially fence lines, with barbed wire. Now, they're currently listed as in need of management. If you believe you may have shrikes living on your land, the Nashville Zoo would love to hear from you. We've posted their information on our website, newschannel5.com. In the newsroom, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5 HD.